and then also overhead press. So if you need various single dumbbells, but just one dumbbell and then a mat or a soft surface. And we'll go ahead and get ready with our pillar prep. Our first one we're gonna do is an adductor stretch into a Cossack squat. So a Cossack squat is basically when you're just super low and you've got one leg extended out kind of in our kickstand. So if you wanna get started down to the ground on all fours and you're gonna extend your right leg out and you're just going to lean back. You can have your hands up or your hands down on the ground, but a nice adductor stretch. So stretching out the inner thigh here, lean back on that left heel. You can bring your back center, or again, you can just stay up and elevated. And then in a little bit, we're going to have our left foot flat on the ground for a Cossack squat. Give me a few more lean backs or just holding that position. Three, two, one, bring yourself up and bring that left foot onto the ground. And your goal is to keep that left foot flat. So if you need to come up a little bit, then that's perfectly fine. But your goal is to try to stay low. And if you can, bring yourself down and balance if you got it. Otherwise, hold on to the ground. Again, bringing yourself up a little bit further if you need to to keep that foot flat, kind of a lateral lunge here. Three, two, one, hands back down to the ground, bring that right leg, and now we're going to extend the left out. Again, hands can be down to push yourself back, or you can keep them kind of in that goblet position up at the chest. Just sit back onto that heel or lean back onto that heel of the right foot. Get that lower body primed and ready for today. A few more rock backs, and then we'll go to that Cossack squat. So we'll go from the right knee to the right foot. Three, two, one. However you need to get set up into that position, you need to start elevated a little bit, and then you can slowly get yourself down, trying to set that butt back. Still working. The inside of that left thigh, but now we're also getting the glute activated by bringing ourselves up, sitting those hips back. Last three, two, one. Go ahead and walk your hands out, bring your feet closer. I'm going to turn for a side angle, but we're going to go into a bent knee down dog. So you can start in that kind of upside down B, and then go ahead and bend those knees, but keep pushing that butt up to the sky, pushing the ground away with your hands, but you can keep your knees bent, and then straighten. So really push the ground away, drop those heels, and bend. Push it away, still stick that tailbone up to the sky, and straighten. Wake those shoulders up by pushing the ground away. Bend the knees. Push, push, push that ground away. Feel that upper back stretch. And straighten. Last five. Three, two, one. Walk those hands to the feet. Slowly roll yourself up. Roll those shoulders back. We're going to move into movement prep. So we're getting a little bit more fluid with our movements. We've had a reverse table talk. Lift, so we'll head down to the ground. Fingertips pointing towards the toes. You're gonna push yourself up, feel that stretch in those hands, lower yourself down. So constantly lift and lower. So we're still stretching, still warming up, adding some movement to it. Notice your arms are straight the entire time. So this isn't a tricep dip. Keep your arms straight. Relax the hips and the glutes, and then thrust them up to the top. Squeeze those glutes. Less than 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Next up, we're going to go into a panther crawl, our beast position. So on all fours, 
We're gonna go ahead and come up onto those toes so the knees are up off the ground. And you're gonna take two steps forward and two steps back. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Right hand, left foot goes forward. And then left and right. Left and right takes you back. Right and left takes you back even further. Keep going, two forward, two back. Opposite side of the body, opposite leg, opposite hand. We're here only here for 30 seconds. Little neural activation, wake your brain up. Start to get that heart rate up a little bit. Try to keep that butt down, super low crawl. Last three, two, one. Walk all the way up to those feet. Bring yourself back up. Time to get into our first movement. So our first string block. We're gonna stay low in place. You're gonna hold your one dumbbell at a goblet squat position. So holding the bell, dumbbell pointed straight up. Lateral lunges, but we stay in place. So this is why we warmed up with our pillar prep we started with. You stay in place, come up center. So it's basically a body weight shift, holding that dumbbell at chest level. And then our second and third movements are the same, just right and left side focused. Single leg Romanian deadlift, holding a dumbbell in the opposite hand of the foot that stays. So if my left leg's gonna stay, I'm holding that dumbbell on my right. Nice balance, nice solid line, come right back up. And then our next exercise is the same thing. You'll just switch which leg stays and which hand has that dumbbell. So those are our three movements for strength block one. So let's get started with our in place lateral lunge, goblet squat hold. 20 seconds, five rounds all the way through. So we stay up this whole time. We won't go down to the ground. We'll go in four, three, step it out wide and go. Just nice weight shifts. When you come up to the center though, you slightly thrust forward. Untuck those hips, pull those shoulders back. One knee bent, one leg straight. Last three, two, one. Step it in. Whatever side you wanna start with, I'm doing right arm, left leg. Three, two, one. Keep your sight up. Shoulders back, nice flat back, and then bring yourself right back up. We're not here for long, so focus on good quality reps. Don't need to rush. Three, two, one, other side right away. We're gonna fly through this first strength block. Not a lot of transition time between our movements. Last five, three, two, one. Dumbbell back up by the chest, goblet position. Feet out wide, toes forward. Four, three, two, one. In place, lateral lunge. All the way in that bent knee leg. Sit back on those heels. Strong torso. Don't hinge too much, try to stay tall. Three, two, one, step it in. Right hand, left foot. Three, two, one, begin. Having that weight in the opposite side of the body that we're balancing on makes it a little trickier. Trying to work on that contralateral balance. Three, two, one, left and right. Squeeze the glute. Feel it in that hamstring of the leg that stayed. Three, two, one. Dumbbell loaded at the front, step it out wide. Three, two, one, go. When I say don't hinge, I mean, I don't want you doing this. We don't have a flat back. Sitting my butt back, pulling my shoulders back, staying upright. Four, three, two, one. 
three, two, one, step it in, right hand, left leg, three, two, one, here we go. Last five, three, two, one, switch and go. Three, two, one, load that weight, step it out wide, two more rounds. Three, two, one, here we go. Four, three, two, one, step it in, right and left, three, two, one, here we go. Keep that side forward, don't look down unless you absolutely have to. If that's your focal point that you get to focus and not balance, or not lose your balance, excuse me, that's okay. But try to pull those shoulders back. Three, two, one, let's switch. And I want you to keep that leg you're extending back straight as possible. Try not to bend, don't do a little heel flip. Four, three, two, one. Last round, I'm gonna get a break, step it out wide. Three, two, one, here we go. Don't forget that reset in the middle of this. Slight thrust forward, pull the shoulders back. Give that back a little break. A lot of back on this one. Doesn't realize it, doesn't feel like it, but it is. Three, two, one. Right hand, left leg. Three, two, one. Here we go. Last 10. Give me some good reps. Last time you're going to do this. Three, two, one. Switch. Last 10. Give me two more good ones. Whatever you can do in 10 seconds. Last three, two, one. Awesome job, set that weight down. We still need it for our second strength block. Take a quick little break and then we'll keep going. Keep taking your break. I'm just gonna walk over our next moves. Our first two, just like last strength block or right and left focus. So the first one, we're gonna do the right leg forward, left leg back, toes pointed forward. You hold the split squat position. So basically holding the low base of the lunge so sending our left knee down to the ground, pulling our shoulders back, tall torso, dumbbell in our right hand, palm facing forward, and we're gonna do an overhead shoulder press. You don't have to lunge, you don't have to squat, you're holding the bottom position for 20 seconds while you do a single arm press. We'll step it in, switch out the weight, and then we'll repeat on the left side, same thing. And then our last one, we're gonna be down in a plank position. The dumbbell is gonna be on the outside of your right hand, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick that dumbbell up and pick it up while in plank position and move it to the outside of the left hand. Our plank dumbbell drag. So we're in this plank position. I'm gonna pick it up and move it to the outside of my right hand. Notice I'm not swiveling my hips open. I've got a nice wide base with my legs so I can stay stable. If you have headlights on your hips, they need to keep pointing down to the ground and not opening up to the side while we try to move that weight, okay? So really contract your core. Let's go ahead and get started. Split squat, right side. So right foot forward, right hand. Three, 
two, one, drop it down low. You can do whatever you want with that left hand. If you need that balance, just hold it straight out in front of you. Down on your hip, down by your side, but stay low. Drop that left knee, single arm press. Three, two, one, step it in, switch. We go right away. Quick transitions between our right and left side. And then we'll have time to get set up for that dumbbell drag in that plank position. Make sure you have a bend in that front knee. We're not split stance. We're at the way bottom of that lunge. Three, two, one. Let's take it down. High plank. Three, two, one. Here we go. Pick that dumbbell up. Move it to the other side. Last five, three, two, one. Step it in or walk to the feet, whatever you gotta do, take your time. We'll go back to our split stance, low lunge hold, press. Three, two, one, here we go. Stay low, don't slowly pop up to standing. Stay low. Three, two, one, step it in, switch and go. Get low right away. Don't wait until you're already 10 seconds in. Get to that low base position. Three, two, one, take it down, take your time. We've got transitional time. High plank, move that dumbbell. Here we go, three, two, one, begin. No need to rush. You can hold that steady plank for a little bit before picking up that dumbbell to move to the other side. Plus five, three, Two, one, bring yourself up. Round three, five, four, three, two, one, begin. Five. Four, three, two, one, step it in, switch and go. Get low, get low. Four, three, two, one, down for plank. Three, two, one, begin. Four, three, two, one, bring it back up. Two more rounds. Right foot forward. Three, Two, one, begin. Three, two, one, switch. Four, three, two, one, plank. 
Almost done, almost done. Three, two, one, begin. Four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Last round right here. As low as you can get. Three, two, one. Begin. Super low. I know those arms are starting to get fatigued. Push through it. Three, two, one, step it in, switch, and go. Drop that back knee, let's go. Three, two, one, here we go, end strong, plank. Ready and begin. Keep those headlights down, keep your good form. Last round, focus on form. Last three, two, one. Awesome job. Bring it up, take your quick little break. We've got our finisher, so our quick little cardio first, and then our regeneration stretches, and you are all done. Your moves for your big finisher, your first one is just an alternating Romanian deadlift, so what we did in straight clock one with T arms. So your palms face forward. Once you get that position, you kind of open it up. So we're here, step it in, switch legs. So when you're looking at yourself from the front, look like a capital T, because we're getting that back leg all the way up, and kind of hidden by our torso. So alternate between the right and left leg with our T arm RDL. And then your second one is jumping jacks. So as soon as we go into it, right away, 30 seconds of jumping jacks. 30 seconds each move, three rounds. We'll start with that Romanian deadlift T arm. Make sure you're alternating legs because we're not going to switch halfway, okay? So here we go. Three, two, one. You can kind of take your time on this one. The jumping jacks are where I really want you to get some speed. We'll up that intensity just a bit. You can always modify your jumping jacks with a single arm swing overhead and then just tapping out with that same side of the body leg. 10 seconds left. Working those shoulders right here. Here we go. Three, two, one. Jack it out or Modify, overhead swing, same side of the body tap. Whatever works for you. Ten seconds left, and then round two, back to our T arms. Three, two, one. Here we go. It's gonna start to get trickier. We go from a high moving jumping jack to having to slow down, get good balance. And so shoulder blades together when you raise those arms up. Shoulders should be on fire. Three, two, one, jumping jacks. And I get to shake them out here. We go from overhead press to plank to a shoulder cardio burner with our finisher. Really working those upper arms here, getting that heart rate up. Last 10 seconds and then one more time through and then we'll cool it down and stretch. Three, two, one, focus. Extend that leg back there. 
Make it invisible. Get it in line with your torso. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, check it out. One awesome job way to push. Let's take a deep breath, cool it down with regeneration. We're gonna head down to the ground a lot like we did with our pillar prep. We're gonna go into that quadruped position. We're gonna go into our kickstand and we're gonna thread the needle. So what I want you to do is I want you to reach that left or that right arm forward if your right leg's out with me. Right leg out, right arm forward. Slide that left arm through the right and then sit back on your heels. So push those hips back, keep that right foot flat, relax the side of your left face on the ground as you face off to the right side. Stretching those arms, the glutes, the legs. Push the ground away with that right hand. Keep pushing those hips back towards the heel and bring it back center let's switch left comes out left arm forward right arm under the left pushing the ground away with my left hand pushing my hips back towards my right heel keeping my left foot flat a lot to think about really good stretch here even though it's like you're playing a game of Twister, I know. Three, two, one. Let's do our traditional child's pose. Toes and knees both apart. Push yourself to those heels. Push the ground away. Relax your head towards the floor. and bring it on up or stay there if you need a little bit longer but thank you for joining me and i'll see you next week